uh, you know, when we look at much of the rest of the world, particularly in Europe, um, you know, the story is the story is definitely different in Europe, uh, and and somewhat meaningfully so, um, in the sense of we've seen a meaningful decline in 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 the way that you know the U.S. is looking at is experiencing pressure. Uh, for higher inflation, Europe is has experienced a relatively significant decline over the course of the last uh, year or so. Inflationary pressures we've had the most recent set of prints out of Germany and others showing inflation below expectations, and basically overall European inflation is now you know within a uh, spitting distance of the ECB's mandate. While inflation is moderated, uh, what we haven't seen is we haven't seen a meaningful deterioration uh, in growth. Um, and that I think is important because um, central banks, almost all central banks, are guided significantly by inertia. Uh, they'll be highly responsive in a moment where economic conditions are deteriorating rapidly. But as long as economic conditions are relatively stable or improving, the urgency to cut interest rates is likely not nearly as high as some market participants might think. And so while we have a circumstance here where Europe is clearly on a different trajectory than the U.S., uh, we still, uh, you know, the, the significant pace of interest rate cuts that are expected in Europe are probably not going to materialize consistent with what's priced into markets, given the fact that we're actually seeing a bit of economic uh, acceleration. 